I just pointed the cutter into the wind and put it in about eight inches of water so it's healed over a forward uh, propeller. And reverse. <laughs> yeah, definitely a work boat. So I'm going to pull it out now and let's see if we can do some sailing. There. Look at that. I'm going to bring her around and jibe it. <laughs> All right, she's moving now. The faster the, the hull goes, the more uh, control you have on the rudder. There, see, look at that. So here she comes. There we go. Look at that. One side, then the other. So that's one of the issues today. The wind is finicky. There's a gust. But of course, this could happen any any summer day on the beach. There, look at that. Look at the wind now. Whoa. Yeah, you got to be ready for everything. Look at this. Very gusty. That's the thing. Once you put auxiliary power on an RC sailboat, no matter how good it gets, somebody thinks you're cheating. <laughs> That's why I like to mention when I'm using it. Oh, now I'm wing and wing. Wing and wing. There she is. And let's turn now and we'll probably get a good gust. Oh, the inner jib slammed over. And around she goes. More finicky wind. I think I'm going to loosen my sails off a bit. it right past the right past the front of the docks right here so there she goes oh she's right in the wind now let's see what happens I suppose I should shoot it in now by the time she gets way on she's liable to be aground Uh, maybe not. I'm going to try to bring it around into the wind. Sails are flapping. Come on. Okay, she's around. There. So now I'm going to reach in and I'm going to slack the sails off. And now I'm going to bear off. That was a jibe. Bring her in here. Maybe we can go in front of the dock. Oh. See how that wind is uh, sort of shifted around a little bit? Well, I'm going to sheet it in. And there she goes. Okay, so now we're on a beat. Yeah, she's moving along nicely. So now I'll bring it around while I've got headway on. See if I can get it around on the other tack. And she's around, and I'm just going to loose the sails off a little bit here. So I'm turning it to starboard and oh yeah there she goes She's moving now 
and bring her up, bring her around. Okay, I got it hard to port. So this uh, certainly isn't uh, competitive uh, racing, but uh, the boat uh, seems very predictable, and I can the water is clear enough so that I can see as it goes past right now that there's no weed caught anywhere. So that's an important factor. You, you, but you're always uh, hoping to get a more consistent wind direction. Well, that, there now she's moving along. That's not too bad. Whoops. I'm looking at the boat instead of the camera, <laughs> as usual. So there is that to be said for having an auxiliary motor. It gives you that, that little bit of uh, maneuverability when it is dead calm. But really, I, uh, uh, when I'm sailing, I do like to uh, use uh, wind and maneuvering as, uh, as my favorite uh, method. But actually, uh, she sails quite well when there is, uh, is enough wind. Now the wind is offshore. <laughs> That's the great thing about work boats. It's really just relaxation. You get the fun of building, the accomplishment of building, and then the play outside.